Hello guys and welcome back to another episode of this Pentagon Challenge. We are absolutely lying with Santos. They are by far and away the best team that I have ever been. They have the best setup, they have the best money, they have the best players. This season for me is all about achieving as much as humanly possible. I want that league title, I want that Brazilian Cup, I want that Copa Sudamericana and I most importantly want that qualification for the Copa Libertadores next season. There's a lot to catch you guys up on, so let's get into it. So the first place that we're going to start is with the schedule. Last time you were with me, we managed to secure the Sao Paulo State Championship on penalties. It doesn't matter how we did it, we did it. We beat Corinthians after um, a relatively poor showing in the first leg. We were 2-0 two, uh, two up. Um, and then they managed to pull it back to 2-2 in the second leg. We were the ones who battled back. They were 2-0 up and we managed to pull it back level to 2-2 and we won it on penalties. Since then, we've been on an absolute tear in both leagues and cup competition, basically. We've had our debut in the Copa Sudamericana. Um, I'll just show you that group super quickly. Uh, we've already qualified with our five games to go, uh, with our five games played, sorry. Five games, five uh, wins. Uh, 21 goals scored and just the five goals against. Um, we are absolutely flying. We are taking on Libertad in the next game as well. So we are already comfortably through. We've already beaten them 7-0 in this competition. So we go into the second round of this one. If we go into the rules, as you can see, we're in the group stage now. We are already qualified for the second round. After the second round, we go into the quarters, semis, and then finals. We are expected to reach the final. We are one of the bigger clubs in it. Um, so fingers crossed we can deliver on that promise. The next thing I wanted to say to you guys, we kicked off the Serie A campaign. Um, first game of the season, we were taking on the defending champions away from home. 1-1 uh, draw in that one. Um, Diego Blanco, the wonder kid, uh, managing to pull us level there. I'm not really going to talk about the Copa Sudamericana games. Other than that, as you can see, we've played five, we've won five. Nice result away at Gremio. Um, then this is a rather disappointing one. In the fifth round of the Brazilian Cup, we have been drawn against Corinthians, um, a team that we seem to be playing an awful lot at the moment. Um, and we lost that one 4-1. Uh, we had Diego Blanco sent off in that one as well, but it was already 3-1 at that point. However, this is a two-legged affair, so we will be playing the second game um, a little bit later on this month. The games, the amount, the sheer amount of games I'm playing at the moment is absolutely sickening. If you just look at May, Sunday, Wednesday, Friday, Sunday, the Friday, Sunday was just awful as well, by the way. Wednesday, Saturday, Wednesday, Sunday, Wednesday, Friday. The games are relentless over in Brazil. But yes, we lost to Corinthians. Um, disappointing, but we do have the second leg to atone for that, although we did lose the home leg, so I'm not actually holding my breath too much for that. Um, other than that, wins against Vasco in the league, win against Bahia in the league. Uh, in terms of the league, we are currently sat in fifth. However, we have only played four games. And um, Palmeiras do top the league with their seven win, uh, seven games, six wins, one draw. Um, they've been looking pretty good, I must admit. Ourselves and Botafogo are a little bit adrift in terms of the amount of games played, but I'm sure we will catch them up. Um, I'm currently happy with how things are. If we win our three games in hand, it puts us back level with Palmeiras at the top of the table. So I'm not too worried about things there. Obviously, it is better to have the points on the board. Um, and obviously, in terms of previous winners, guys, Santos haven't won the division since 2004. So we're hoping to right that wrong as quickly as humanly possible, especially overturning, overturning Flamengo, who have been the champions for the past two, no, three Four out of the last five years, Flamengo have won it. So they are the, definitely the team to overthrow. Um, there's not really a lot else to catch you guys up on. I don't think there's any transfers that you may have missed. Let me just go in. Evandro, um, Igor, we covered. The two guys leaving, we covered. Um, Veltman has left. Uh, he has now gone out on loan to Internacional. Um, he wasn't going to get game time. At our club, um, only right to let him go out on loan, get him a few more games under his belt, and hopefully he can have a good run of games in the Brazilian top flight, and then maybe we could pull him back in next season to be our own player. Um, in terms of the club vision and stuff, guys, we are still doing very well. Everyone seems to be super happy with how things are going. 
and um, we are obviously on course to reach the final of the Copa Sudamericana. We will see how that goes. Um, we are obviously expected to challenge for the title, and they are currently reserving judgment on that. Um, we've only had four matches in that competition, so I can kind of see where they are with that. Um, they're saying that this is past. So, oh, that's the Sao Paulo State Championship. We won that, of course. Reached the Copa, the Brazil semi-final. Um, mm, that's going to be a tough one. We still have forty million in the bank as well. I don't know if I'm going to spend that. I probably won't. Things are all very, very rosy. And I have been asked as well to show you guys the dev center. And we don't necessarily have too many players in that because I do keep calling players up to the first team. We've got Tom here. He looks okay at right back. Um, nothing too spectacular. I am a little bit worried that he doesn't have the consistency trait. He looks okay. Looks like a decent little player. We've also got Pedro here, um, the goalkeeper. I think he is much more of a better bet. 19 years of age. He's currently valued at 375 quid. That's awful for him, poor boy. Um, but we're working on him. Hopefully he can improve. Obviously he's going to have a long way to go to overthrow Ivan in our goal. And then we've also got this dude here who's actually a real person, but I don't have his face in the game. Um, he probably won't get any game time for us. If we go into the ones to watch though, we've got a couple of players down here. Let's have a look at Lee. He looks quite tidy for a centre-back. Um, good tackling, good marking, solid enough heading. Six foot balanced personality. He is consistent, which is great. He's also got a couple of uh, things that are really good for him. Fits very well with the core group of the dressing room. Strong player. His bravery is good. Uh, Fabio Henrique, not so good for him at the back. Um, the other guy is definitely better. Wanderson is another goalkeeper. I think we've just looked at him, haven't we? No, we haven't. Um, we've got a couple of goalkeepers coming through. Uh, this guy here, Vinicius, not so good. And um, this guy, another goalkeeper. Probably the best one out of the lot that we've seen, in my opinion. Um, We've got a lot of goalkeepers, guys. A lot of youth goalkeepers coming through. Hopefully, we can have a good intake this year. We are trying to sort ourselves out ahead of um, ahead of youth development. I don't believe we have one. If we go into the staff, we do have a head of youth development. Yes, he's just not very good. We've, we've had a couple thrown our way. We're trying to find the right one. At least this guy has the right preferred formation. His tactical style is not necessarily it. Um... But he's, he's kind of in the in the mold of where we're trying to be. We're okay in terms of our staff. We can definitely improve. I think that will be something I will do next year um, is really improve the coaches and stuff and get the best available to us. That is always something I do strive to do. But without any further ado, guys, let's try and get into today's game. Um, first up, we will talk about our team themselves. We've got Ivan in goal, Cadu, Velimoso. Uh, Evandro and Jonathan this is our defensive unit has been doing very well for us they haven't necessarily all been playing um, at the same time with the amount of game time and games that we've had to have I've been rotating the squad all over the shop this is basically our starting 11 coming out here now though uh, Kevin Malthus alongside Guzman Guzman has been fantastic every time you see him play he scores which is fantastic I'm hoping now I've brought you guys back he, he chips in with some goals today he's got nine goals and four assists um, in his games this season, which is great. We've got Blanco, Sydney, and Nico Lopez, and then Gomez, the guy on loan from Porto up top. He's not exactly been filling me with the most joy. He's got seven goals so far. Obviously, we've got Kue Santos on the bench as well. We will submit the team, and we will go. As you can see, we've rotated from our last game. It's full start and 11 change. Obviously, we are prioritizing this league. Come on, lads. Show me what you can do to keep this run going in the league. We are in the green shirt and the white shorts. Our opposition in the blue. Can we keep the pressure on with against Palmeiras, who have played again and won? I think that is that was their seventh game. Okay, fantastic. Sao Paulo beat Chapacoense as well. Interesting. Guarani are taking on Botafogo. Obviously, Botafogo are a team that we are alongside in the league, so it would be good for Guarani to get a result there. They go 2-0 down inside 15 minutes. We are having a lot. Um, we are having a lot of opportunities here. Six shots, four on target, but they're not being great opportunities. 30 minutes already gone, and not a lot to show for it, guys. We are definitely shutting teams out, which is a positive. Um, we're just not fully firing in terms of our attacking presence at the moment. Blanco robs the ball then on this right-hand side and he advances the young Mexican wonder kid into the penalty area. No, his cross gets blocked. He picks it back up again, though. Goes back into the penalty area. No, goes back to Cadu, the fullback here, the right-back, advancing into a more central position. 
we recycle the ball. Here's uh, Guzman again. As I said, Guzman has a habit of scoring when you guys are here. So I'm hoping he can maybe chip in with one today. And uh, Bruno Silva's absolutely left our guy for dead there. Advancing, ball into the penalty area. Ivan with a big save. Jonathan heads it clear and Guzman will eventually get that one clear. A oh, good opportunity for the for the, the team that we are against today. But you'd like to think that the way that things have been going so far, we look like the slightly better, slightly better bet. Here comes Guzman then into Sydney, into Blanco. Can he get a crossover? It, it hits Gomez. How is the, what is happening? The ball's in the back of the net. There's a free kick. We are offside at some stage there. That is disappointing to see. 10 shots, 6 on target. We are just not converting. I'm going to say I'm not happy. Hopefully that has fired the boys up. We go into the second half. We need a result here. Being unbeaten in the league is not enough. We need to be putting teams like this to bed. And unfortunately, it's not happening again. I'm going to take off Gomez here. Lucas Gomez is going to come off for Santos. We'll make that change. Seeing if the focal point up top makes any difference at all. We are going to go to a very attacking style for the last 20 minutes to see if that makes a difference. Jonathan with this throw and then looped into the penalty area. The goalkeeper goes to get it and he doesn't claim it. It gets cleared. I'm not taking Blanco off. No way, not yet. Cadu with the throw into the penalty area. Evandro's there. It gets spilled. It's in the back of the net. Evandro has got it. Assisted by Cadu with a long throw. We're going to go back to the positive mindset. Now we finally have that lead. The centre-back on loan. The young Brazilian on loan from Inter Milan. Bailing us out here. Um, with 15 minutes of this game to go. Long throw into the area. He challenges the goalkeeper and hooks it past him. Goalkeeper goes low. Is probably where his mistake is. We get the result that we need. Or we get... Oh, it's been ruled out. What? What? I thought that we... What happened? Was it ruled out? Oh, referee. I need to watch that back. I have no idea what's happened there. Gustavo with the ball on the right-hand side. This would be a sucker punch if they score now. 88th minute. Diaz. This is going to be it, isn't it? Opportunity. That's a penalty. That's a penalty. The referee is going to go and check from VAR, but I think that is a penalty, guys. Is this going to be our first defeat of the league campaign coming away from home? If the referee gives it, it's a penalty, I'm pretty sure. Penalty awarded 88th minute. Lucas Veromoso giving away the penalty. And the home side have a chance for a real smash and grab here. Up he steps then. Oh, he misses it. <laughs> there's three. Right, okay, there's three minutes added time. We're just going to go very direct. Come on, boys. Let's see if we can get an opportunity. Can we? No. It finishes nil-nil. We've had a goal disallowed. And they miss a 90th minute penalty. I'm not happy. I'm really not happy with the performance. What actually happened with the goal that wasn't a goal? I need to figure that out. Let's go into the schedule. Let's go into the game. I don't want to watch the goals because there wasn't any. So I don't know what this is going to load up. Maybe the penalty miss. I can't believe it, guys. So goal for Santos. It's even saying it's a goal for us. What has happened, football manager? SI. Where are my extra two points? It's not, it's not saying it's been ruled out. I'm so confused, guys. I am so confused. Watch. Let's watch the key highlights. Let's watch the key highlights and see what happens here. So we'll go up to just before the goal. 75th minute, obviously. Here are the visitors on the ball. Let's see if I can actually advance that a little bit more. Okay, so this is just before the throw in then. The throwing comes in 
from Cadu into the penalty area. Evandro nudges it in, hooks it into the goal. Evandro finds the net. Then. And then what? We were watching key highlights. What does it show in the key highlights? In the key highlights, if there's a goal here. Goal, Evandro. I can't believe it, guys. I cannot believe it. He scored. It's showing us a goal. We're going to watch it again. He can't be offside because it's a throw in. It says goal for Santos. Evandro finds the net. I'm stunned, guys. Absolutely stunned. Well, we do remain unbeaten. That's not the result we wanted or the result I thought we got. But that is where we're going to leave it, guys. If you have had this happen to you in any of your saves, do let me know down in the comments. That is absolutely baffling. I know I've spent some time waffling around about that, but I honestly cannot believe that that has happened. Um, we'll look at the schedule. I'm going to bring you back towards the end of June. We're going to play this team. They are the bottom place team at the moment in the league. So that should be an interesting one for you. And we also get a decent other way through June as well. There are a lot of games in Brazilian football. So hopefully trying to fire our way through will be good enough for you guys. I still can't believe what's happened there. I'm going to need to go and watch this recording, guys. I'm going to need to go and watch it. I cannot believe what's happened. If you have enjoyed today's video, guys, don't forget to drop a like on it. Subscribe to the channel for daily football manager content. I'll be back at the same time tomorrow with another football manager related video. Hopefully I'll catch you guys there. Wow.